Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan, and today's boiler is a Valiant Turbo Max Plus. In this video, I'm going to show you about replacing the fan. On this boiler, we've got two types of fan. We've got one with a square outlet and a one with a round outlet. So we're going to identify which is which and show you about changing the fan. Just as a bit of a reference, you can identify the fan type by the serial number. So some manufacturers, um, suppliers should say, will quote the serial number to identify what type of fan it okay, is. Okay, so what I've done, we've um, removed the combustion cover, got it right side, inside the boiler, and you can see the fan. So this is the fan itself, and this is the outlet what I was referring to. So this one's a square outlet, as you can see. And as I said, the other type is a round one. So you've just got to be wary of the type of outlets on the fan. So I've got both types here for you to see the fans in the flesh. So this is a square outlet one, as you can see it's square. And then this is the round one the round outlet. You can see they're totally different. So as I said, this is what you need to be aware of when you're looking on this type of Valiant Turbo Max Plus boiler. You can also make a, a note of this part number. This is for the square outlet. In removing the fan from the boiler, other than taking the electrical electrical connections away, you can see there, you can remove live neutral and the earth. You've also got the tubes for the air pressure switch, which are going to be pulled off the fan. And then you've got the screws which are holding the fan on. So you've got a screw there, there, and you're going to loosen that one. Then the fan should just drop down twist it or pull it towards you and sort of like twist it down like rotational direction and then the fan should just come away. Once you remove the screws, the three screws what I said, the one here is a different type to the other two here. That's the three of them there. You can see the thread's different so watch out for that one. This is the old fan now removed. What I'm going to do, see this bit here, that top bit is going to pull off and then we're going to refit it on the new fan. You can see it's going to sit on the top of uh, the Venturi. So I'll take that part off and put it on here. So this is, this is it in my hand. I'm going to simply plonk that on the top of the Venturi on the new fan. Just a bit of caution though. What's happened, when putting it on the new one, it, it's just fell to pieces. And that's because it's very brittle because of the heat over the years. So we need a new one. So the technique of putting in new fan back is this part here. You can push it up and down. So if you push it up like that, it gives you the space then to get the new fan in and then pull that down onto it and then clamp it down with a screw. Just a quick note before you put the fan in, it's best to put your electrical connections on, your tubes from the air pressure switch on, then fit the fan, as what I said. Put the screws in next, these two, and then do that last, and then, as I said, drop it down onto the square outlet just like this and then you can put your screw in. So that's the fan fitted, combustion covers on and you can see the flame there working so it's all good. So that's it. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you've got any comments or questions I'd like to hear from you and I will see you on the next video.